Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor and it's time for the showdown of the century. The MBTI versus New Jungian Typology. W wait, New Jungian Typology? What is that? Okay, mister. New Jungian Typology is a system, a modern reinterpretation of the MBTI that describes and that attempts to go deeper than the MTI was able to in mapping out a personality type, in typing people more accurately, in understanding the relations between modern psychology, the Enneagram, and the MBTI. So, like Neo in the Matrix? Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, I loved the MTI, I loved the system, I had so much fun exploring it, but I did feel something was missing. I did feel that the MTI was not able to consistently type people as accurately as it could. I did feel that the MTI could not understand the full range within a personality type as good as it could. I did feel that the MTI lacked connections to the modern world of psychology, the modern world of neuroscience and information on how people actually think and feel and process information. So I swallowed the red pill. Uh, okay, uh, you lost me, dude. Yeah, I'm sorry, man, you're a hopeless cause. Basically, a few years ago, I was sitting down with Christian Johansson over at NeoJungianTypology.com and I was going over research journals on psychology, on the human mind, on neuroscience, on different networks and different processes such as dopamine and oxytocin and serotonin and how it influenced our decision-making skills. I found information on genetic differences in breaking down dopamine and breaking down neurotransmitters and I learned a lot. And the key most important thing I learned was a personality type is who you are when you are in a state of flow, in a positive mindset. Not who you happen to be at the moment, not the mask you're wearing, not the persona you are dressed up as. Your personality type is something else in a state of flow and something else during stress and something else during anxiety. So I developed a system of 12 subtypes. Okay, I started out with four and then I've been able to keep on going basically, digging deeper into different Enneagram related traumas and differences in development. And I found a lot of healthy, interesting differences. I found a lot about how people come to develop different cognitive functions within their personality type. And I learned a lot about how a personality type really was, not just the stereotype that we are often thrown at us. Yeah, people are sitting right now looking at this video and they're going, that wasn't introverted, that was extroverted. No, that action was Probably creativity, that was probably extroverted intuition, not introverted intuition. No, I think he was actually more extroverted sensing, actually. Or wait, was that introverted sensing? Yes, so the thing is, the MBTI is interested in how you appear at the moment, and depending on your energy on video, how you come across at that moment, different people are going to type you differently. You're going to have people typing you in one video as an INTP and in another video as an ISFJ. But if people were able to type you based on and note this when you were in a positive mindset and when you were stressed and if they knew how the INFJ was during stress or during anxiety or when in a positive mindset, that could help solve so much of the mistyping, so much of the confusion related to personality psychology. Yeah, I believe a personality type is like a set of piano keys. I believe that you can choose to play these keys out differently. I believe in development. I believe in environment-related differences inside a personality type. I believe in gender-related differences. I believe that how you were treated changed you. 
I believe your traumas changed you. A difference with MBTI is that the MBTI focuses on normal, healthy personality types. How an INFJ is normally. How an INTJ is normally. How an INTP is normally. The MBTI is not interested in traumas or disorders. But I am. I know most people are not healthy for their entire life. Everyone has strikes of depression and of anxiety and of grief. Everyone faces difficulty. Everyone is going to come into situations where they're going to feel broken or like they struggle more than most. And I felt that I, based on the existing MTI, couldn't offer people helpful advice on how to be and how to act. More often than not, when I gave people a personality type, they felt, oh, so I'm forced to be like this. I have no choice to be like this. I'm stuck like this. I'm stuck lacking energy. I'm stuck being this struggling person. The MBTI says you can't change your personality type, further cornering people that are facing major disorders into thinking their disorder is their personality type. Dude, if you want to change your personality type, you should totally get some of my LSD. Dude, the best way to change your personality type is to get some LSD. Now, I think we all know we're all constantly changing and that we are different roles in different situations. I am a different person among my family members than I am with you guys on screen. I am a different person in one-on-one -on -one conversation than I, am, than I am with, for example, at a convention with 100 people and lights and social stimuli everywhere. Still, at the end of the day, I find that the MTI type labels and the people who are typed in the MTI system overlap and align quite a lot with New Jungian typology. It is truly just a continuation of the work Carl Jung and Isabella Briggs started. It is truly just diving deeper, finding more differences, learning more about the personality types and getting better at typing people with high accuracy, high confidence and high consistency. I really see companies using Neo Yangian typology in the future. I see them preferring my model because it is just more accurate, more consistent, and because it allows more meaningful advice on how to change your workplace, how to adjust your workplace, and how you work and your workflow to fit with what your employees need to get maximum energy, maximum motivation, freedom from unnecessary stress, and unnecessary anxiety and turbulence. I really see Neo Jungian typology having an influence in co consulting and coaching and in counseling overall. Now, if you haven't already, I recommend you going to my Patreon account and leaving a donation. Your support really helps me build up Neo Jungian typology. Consider buying my books, consider supporting my articles or sharing my videos or sharing my content. Consider calling yourself a Neo Jungian typology practitioner and referring to the system when showing off and when using the theory that I share in these videos. I think that together we can build a wave of change and I believe that we can create something new together. We can create a new system, a new model that is better, more modern and more based in real science. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and a comment down below. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Because the system does what the big five couldn't do. The system does what the MTI couldn't do. It can with precision predict how people will feel in different situations, what makes people feel bad, what makes people feel stress, what gives people motivation and what relieves people who are going through difficulties.